<laughs> well, good evening, church. I hope you're having an amazing day and an amazing week so far. Uh, I woke up this morning expecting to know something just a little bit uh, from the election last night. And, and like all the rest of you, we woke up and, and uh, we still didn't know much. And we're still wondering. We're kind of just in this, uh, this time of, of waiting and anticipating and, and trying to find out, are we, are we going to be all right or are we not going to be all right? And I just wanted to encourage you today. I know we did our reading plan and, and we read about actually the same story I taught on, on Sunday about how, you know, the, the resurrection or the, the death and resurrection of Christ. And, you know, through all this, I know that our part and our way to make it through is to turn our eyes back on Jesus and to continue to focus on Jesus. But I wanted to read the story because what are we supposed to be you know, doing during this time? How do we keep navigating through these challenging times? And, and I want to read a passage out of Matthew 25, and this happens right after um, Jesus begins to tell them about the end times and about all this stuff that's going to be going on and, and, and uh, how the world's going to end. And we start looking around at the time and the season we're in right now, and we think, is, is this the end? Is, is the world coming to a, a close and to a stop? But I want to read this. This is Matthew 25. And starting in verse 14, and this is after he kind of explains all this stuff to his disciples, he says this, For it is just like a man about to go on a journey who called his own slaves and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, each according to his own ability, and he went on his journey. Immediately the one who had received the five talents went and traded with them and gained five more talents. In the same manner, the one who had received the two talents gained two more, and the one who received the one talent went away, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. And I think about during this time that we've all been given these talents, and we've all been entrusted to... Uh, these different abilities and these different gifts that God has given you and He's given us. And, and through this time, what are we going to do with them? Uh, what are you doing with your talent? Even when uh, the world uh, seems chaotic or we're in this period of waiting or this time of we don't understand, uh, what are you doing with your talents? And he says in verse 19, says, Now after a long time the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them. The one who received the five talents came up and brought five more talents, saying, Master, you entrusted five talents to me. See, I have gained five more talents. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful slave. Uh, as you can see, I'm recording this outside. I'm actually out on vacation this week, but I want to record and, and talk to you guys tonight during this time and encourage you to be encouraged because uh, if you've been given five talents, you need to keep using your five talents. And he goes on to say as well, and the one who received the two talents came up and said to Master, you entrusted two talents to me. See, I have gained two more. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful slave. You were faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many and many. Enter into the joy of your master. And I think that's what we want to hear during this time and through all the chaos. And when this is all over or, or whatever happens in, in two weeks, two months, uh, two years, whatever goes on, we want to know when the master comes and says, what have you done for me? Did, what did you do with the talents that I gave you that through this time we never stopped uh, using our talents and we took whatever we've been given and we used it and we doubled it and we multiplied it and so the father can say well done good and faithful servant but I want to caution you with the one here he says in verse 25 and the one who had received the one talent came up and said master I knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed and I was afraid and went away and hid your talent in the ground see you have what is yours and this man who was really afraid of what of losing that talent he was afraid of really stepping out and and using what God had given him and God has given us all this opportunity and this chance to uh, to glorify him and he's given you talents and he's given me talents and he's placed us in different areas and so wherever you find yourself I want to challenge you are you using your talent or are you scared to move forward are you afraid of what's going on and you've taken that talent and you've basically just taken and hidden it so you say, God, here's what you give me, but here's back. I, I didn't do anything wrong with that. And the, really is, and the realization is that's a waste of that talent. That's a waste of what God has given you. Don't waste what God has given you. 
and look at what the master says. The man's master answered and said to him, you wicked, lazy slave. You knew that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have put my money in the bank. And on my arrival, I would have received my money back with interest. Therefore, take away the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten talents. For everyone who has, more shall be given, and he will have an abundance. But even the one who does not have, even, even what he does have shall be taken away. Throw out the worthless slave into the outer darkness, into the place where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, I wanted to read that passage. I want to encourage you that during this time, we still have a job to do. God has given all of us different talents, all of us different gifts, all of us different abilities. And I want to encourage you that the world is looking to you as believers. They're looking to see what you who've claimed to have this faith and this this uh, trust in Christ to see if you're going to actually uh, uh, keep that faith and that trust in Him. And so I encourage you, don't go and bury your talents. Don't go and hide, you know, through this whole time. Everything is going on. We're, there is going to be another side, and the master is going to say, what did you do with what I gave you? During 2020, what, how did you react? How did you use the talents that I gave you? And that's my challenge for you tonight. And so thank you for spending some time with me. I hope this encourages you. Uh, let me pray with you. And hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm out here in, in beautiful uh, Coeur d'Alene. I'm going to show you a little picture of kind of everything. It's just gorgeous. Um, I'm praying that the sun's going to come out. But let me pray with you. And, uh, and thanks once again. Father, we just thank you for what you're doing. God, we know that you have great and mighty plans in store, Father. And we know that we trust in you in all things, Lord. And that the future and plans of our country, Lord, they're not going to change depending on who gets in charge, Lord. That you still have an ultimate plan in charge, God. You know, be with us. Give us comfort, Lord. Help us to use our talents. Uh, keep us safe this week. Give us an opportunity to share your love with someone else, Lord. We ask all this in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Hey, be blessed. Have a great week. And I'll see you guys all on Sunday. Bye.